guys, so welcome back here. So, um, you've seen in some of the videos we've been working on Jake's Monte Carlo. <clears throat> well, here it is. He got it back. We got the motor back. Um, yes, the motor has been dynoed. Some people were asking me, I, I did a couple of videos. I showed you uh, Colby's truck and I said the motor dynoed out at a certain amount of horsepower. And somebody wrote in and said, Are you sure about that? The motors that I do say the exact horsepower, we do dyno them. This was built by Fortin's Engines here in Chilliwack, and they did an awesome job on it. Normal over there did a really good job, and this motor dynoed out at, what was it now? I think it was 5,100 RPM. It pulled three, oh, now you got me thinking here. I should have brought paper out. It was, uh, I think, 351 horsepower or something like that. So anyway, there we are. It's a three to three stroker. It's got the uh, PW aluminum heads on it. We've got a built up Turbo 400 sitting behind it uh, with a 2800 stall converter. Now a good rule of thumb guys, if you're building up a really high performance motor, you can buy stall converters uh, for motors that are you know cammed up and, 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 and stuff like that. When you're building a motor, the best thing to do is if you're going to go get yourself a good converter, if you've got a, t a shop in town, like I use in Langley, I use a, a shop called TCS. They make a lot of converters and supply them all over. I actually gave them the readout of what this motor was at peak horsepower, when it was, what RPM it was, all that kind of stuff. Then they actually supply you with a torque converter that is going to work excellent with what your motor is. Um, you know, rule of thumb, when you're building something, build everything to match all the way right to the back end because I see so many guys out there that put a five or 600 horsepower motor in the car, then they just throw any other kind of tranny in there and any kind of differential. and. Uh, they're losing power as they're going down the line. Granted, you're always going to lose it anyway because you've got to transfer it from the engine all the way back to the differential. But the thing is, is that if you build it the best you can, build it so everything works in sequence, if you know what I'm saying. So anyway, there's where Jake's car is. Um, the motor's in, tranny's in. We're going to be getting the uh, the dry shaft right now. We've got to shorten the dry shaft up because uh, he's gone to a turbo 400, which is a little longer transmission. So that's what's going on there. But the latest news that's in town here right now is guess what? Guess who came to visit me today? I know all you guys thought he wasn't out there, but believe me, he's out there. Elvis came by the shop today. And I'm, I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking Elvis. So we'll come take a look at Elvis's car. I mean, look here, can't you tell Elvis is here? Look what we got going on. Okay, so Elvis is here, like I said, look at that. There's the Cadillac, there you go, he made it. I mean, who else would be driving a pink Cadillac but Elvis? Anyway, this is Steve Elliott. Look him up online, it's called ElvisElite.com. There you go, right there. This guy's awesome. Anyone looking to go see a good Elvis impersonator, he's the man. And he also does Louis Armstrong, which I was shocked when I heard him do it. And he also done, does an awesome Roy Orbison. Um, please look him up online, ElvisElite.com. Actually, for all you guys wondering, and yes, I do this because I'm, I'm about helping everybody out. Right here, he's got a thing that says, a salute to mothers, Elvis Elite, right there, Steve Elliott. He's May 12th, 2016 at the Cascades Casino in Langley, British Columbia. It's a show and a dance, 7.30 p.m. Unfortunately, I won't be there because I'll probably be working on his car. No, this is joking. choking yeah. <laughs> so what, he, what, he, what happened was, he came down and saw me. What's going on here is I'm not going to get in his car and fire it up, but this is the Y-pipe. He's bought himself a brand new Y-pipe. Obviously, I got it the wrong way around. There we go. Goes up underneath the car like this, okay? Driver's side, passenger side. His is completely rotted right out here. It's just hanging there. It's in a million pieces, and the car is loud as hell. So um, he got hold of me. He said, hey, I've heard good things about you. Do you think you can help me out? And I said, I sure can. So he's dropped the car off with me, and that's what we're going to do for him. We're going to replace that pipe there for him, and uh, that's about it. We're just going to do what he wants us to do because that's it. So we'll take a walk around his car anyway. I can't remember the exact year of it. He's got the, you know... Yeah, he did that himself. Yeah, he did that himself. He adds his own personal touches. Actually, you know, I don't, I don't mind the color. You know, it looks good. It's, it's a nice pink. You know, it's not a gaudy looking pink. It's actually a very nice color. There's some pinks out there that are horrible, but this looks really nice. He's got the original hubcaps all the way around. He's got the, he's got the, the, the little wider, wide whites on there. We come around the back, and here's. Got a gold bumper on there. Look at that. Elvis liked his gold, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so that's about all I can tell you. He brought in. We're going to replace the Y pipe. Hopefully, we keep him happy. Hopefully, he's going to become a uh, long-term customer. We're going to do our best for him. 
We're going to stay on budget form. If anything, we're going to try and keep it under budget because that's what it's all about here. And uh, that's all I can tell you there, guys. That's what's going on. Not much new other than that. Just working away on the cars. The same old cars are still out there in the background, as you see probably through this video. Um, and that's about it. So remember, if you're looking for a good Elvis impersonator, this is the guy to go see. ElvisElite.com. Look him up. The guy does wonderful music. And what I like about Steve is he doesn't say, hey, I'm Elvis. He says, I'm an Elvis impersonator. And he's got absolutely not an ounce of attitude whatsoever. You know, sometimes people, they get attitudes when they're up there. And this guy doesn't. He just friendly as hell. See him anywhere and he'll take the time to talk to you, shake your hand, whatever. And I'm not saying that because he came down to me as a customer. I'm not saying that whatsoever. Honestly, he's a great guy. So check him out. And um, that's all I can tell you. And we'll see you next time. Remember, it's always a good time at Old Time Garage here. And remember, go and try and see some live music and live bands. Because it's getting less and less and far fewer between all the time. Because none of us go out there and see it. Please, people, go and support your local musicians. See you later. All right, so Steve Elliott came here to pick up his car. <laughs> Thank you very much. You go. The pleasure was all yours. <laughs> we'll see if, it's, see if it's any quieter for you. I'm sure it will be. It's got to be. Look at that. You just hear the motor. And it's cold right now. I've never heard that before. You've never heard the motor, right? Well, no. no I, mean, like, I mean, I've never heard it quiet. Like, you usually yeah. heard a... So that's, that's really good. Well, I'm glad you have. Good job. Well, there we go, guys. See, so if it's, good, if it's good enough for Elvis, it's good enough for you. So come visit us at Old Time Garage. I'm going to say thank you very much. Thank you. Where's my Right here. Right here. <laughs> awesome, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate I'm, it. I'm glad you're happy. Anything, Steve, that you need, just let me know. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll contact you for anything.